How's it going, everyone? I hope everyone's having a great Friday night. I, myself, I am having a great Friday night. Just chilling, relaxing, watching some movies. And um, I got some major breaking news to talk about here. And um, it's regarding Brian Danielson. And we all know that Brian Danielson has signed with AEW. It was reported last month that he was going to be with AEW. We didn't know the basis of the deal as of yet. We don't know if it's full-time deal, if it's a, a deal where he can freelance, he can go to any other promotion around the world, whether it's in Mexico, Japan, and um, so the original idea was to have Daniel Bryan debut at the AEW show um, at Arthur Ashe Stadium on September 22nd. But with CM Punk recently going to uh, AEW, now his debut has changed. Uh, this afternoon, uh, Andrew Zarian from the Matt Man podcast had indicated uh, one of the first variables that at All Out, there was going to be a few surprises happening. So when you think about few surprises... You got to think, A, Ruby Riot uh, could be debuting with the company. Um, and it makes sense because you do have that uh, Casino Battle Royal for the women on that show. But also, I was thinking, how about Daniel Bryan or Bryan Danielson uh, debuting? Bodyslam.net just dropped a, a bombshell uh, not too uh, long ago saying that Brian Danielson's debut is going to be at the All Out pay-per-view. And it looks like it's going to happen. Now, the reason for this is because of the fact we all know what's happening in the world right now with COVID-19 and the pandemic. You know, the Delta variant is strong right now. It's leading uh, in increasing hospitalizations. Uh, death is coming back, and AEW is afraid that there could be some mandates. And I feel like we're going to go back to the whole um, social distancing thing again. You're going to be six feet. I don't think we're going to be in a lockdown. My personal opinion on that is that I think the world right now, it depends if you're vaccinated. If you're vaccinated, it's pretty much your ticket to go anywhere. If you're not vaccinated, you're basically going to be quarantined or have to show. I think the first thing that they're going to show is proof that you did take a COVID test and it's a negative test within 72 hours. If that doesn't work, then I think we're going to see, you know, the, vac the vaccinated get the special privileges where the unvaccinated doesn't. Or, you know, the worst case scenario, we're back to phase one, everything shuts down. So, New York, um, oh, and uh, Andrew Zarian just dropped another bombshell here uh, with AEW. Uh, he is saying that AEW Dynamite is coming to Long Island on December 8th at the UBS Arena. But you get the drift that New York right now, they have these COVID restrictions where... Um, you have to show proof of vaccination if you're going to go out to eat or if you're going to go to a gym. And that's what has been tightened in New York City. Now, Arthur Ashe Stadium, it's an outdoor arena. But also, if it rains, they have a retractable roof and it makes it indoors. So, uh, yeah. So... He is going to debut in Chicago, Brian Danielson. Uh, we know that Dynamite's going to be in Chicago next Wednesday, next Friday for Rampage. And then you got that all-out pay-per-view. So, yeah, this all-out pay-per-view right now, and I have to say it, is going to be the most buy pay-per-view for AEW. And I can't wait for it. I mean, I, I, I'm actually going to be spending money on this pay-per-view. And I just want to see it because of, you know, 
CM Punk, his match with Darby Allin, not to mention the match, uh, Brian Danielson's debut. I really hope he comes out to the final countdown. Oh, man, that place will go yonkers. So, uh, let me all know what you think in the comment section. Um, Brian Danielson, do you, do you want him to debut in Chicago or at the Arthur Ashe Stadium? I'm out. I might put the poll up, too, in the community. So, peace out, and talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.